Welcome to Let's Play Gran Turismo 6 Part 20. And in this segment, we're going to begin the National A class. And stuff. And I'm going to be using my Evo 6 Tommy Mackin Edition to start off the A class. So, yeah. Let's do this. We got more series. A lot more series than uh, B class. We have 132 stars to get here instead of 90. Ooh. And we're starting with the 500 performance point Clubman Cup. That's why it was called 400 PP Clubman Cup and B. All right. Anyways, so three more races here, including one of my least favorite entries to uh, the series as far as tracks is concerned, Matterhorn. But eh, whatever. Can't all be great, I guess. So uh, let's get started with race number one at Matterhorn and stuff. Stuff. Also, uh, new, uh, new, uh, pre-race screen song, which is also really fucking good, because Daiki Kasho. And hey, it's a ten car race now, instead of six. Woo, we up the, uh, we up the car count, finally. Alright, let's fucking race. Shall we? And stuff. So it's a new day and it's a new stream. Let's see how shitty I drive. Starting third gear. All right, off we go. Plus it's Matterhorn, so yeah. I never, I'm, I've never been a fan of Matterhorn. Like, it's cool to look at. As far as the elevation changes, it's cool, but I don't know. It's just not as good in like realistic quality, I guess, compared to other GT original tracks. That's probably why I don't like it as much. I mean, it's a pretty interesting, like, venue, I'm not gonna lie there. But, yeah, I don't know. I'm just being a bitch, don't mind me. Yeah, I saw Jimmy Johnson's qualifying crash, that was brutal. So, shit. I did not need to downshift there. I hit by jerk! Oh, shit. Oh god! I forgot about that part of the track. Makes the car very upset. And nine times out of ten, I lose control. Yeah, hello, Red Limiter. Just panging off that motherfucker. Don't mind me. Not ex not used to accelerating while go going down a steep hill. So, you know. Use the Pike Speed Quattro for this race. Wow, way to make it easy. I don't know. Oh, excuse me for fucking not turning. I don't know who I was excusing, like myself too, but I guess myself. Kinda didn't turn the car enough there. Excuse excuse me, Mortensen. Come on. God damn it. Around the S was that an WRX? Yeah, it is. Lancer versus E. Or I was about to say Lancer versus Evo. No, Evo versus Impreza. All right, up to the top half of the field. Duh. Top half of the field. Duh. Is this the full course? I think it is. Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know. There's like 15 different configurations of this track. That is an exaggeration. Yeah, base model versus Evo, exactly, test drive. Base Lancer versus Evo. Okay, I'm gonna stay in fourth gear through this section. And that did not work. Kind of fucked up the back of Baldwin's car. Whoops. Alright. Here's where I need to be careful. And I was careful enough. Alright, good. And good braking. Or so I thought. It was good braking, I just didn't slow down enough. Damn it. <laughs> Bimmer! Very blind turn. 
comes right fucking at you. Upshift, downshift, upshift, downshift. Oh, listen to them tires squeal. Oh, fuck. Okay, we're good. Good, everything's fine. It's really tight hairpin there. That you can't, can't really see on the map because the, uh... Local time kind of covers it up. Hey, we're up to second. All right. So we got one lap to catch and pass Soto. So let's do this. Also, the grid lines around this place don't make sense to me because it's just a million fucking lines. Oh, hey, is that an M3 GTR? I think it is. Excuse me, Soto! Oh shit, lock the brake. Lock the right front. There's the pass, and I didn't make the turn. Ran wide. God damn it. Alright, anyways. Seems like a narrow and tight course. You are correct. Okay. Now oh, I've got this little flick here. Let's get off of the fucking 100% brakes here. Actually turn into the turn. There we go. I did it. Actually made it through that section without fucking it up royally. And more tightness. Including super tight. G Soto, not D Soto. Is there some is there a meme I don't know about? Because I don't remember a driver named Soto. So so <laughs> anyways. Okay, well. Actually, a little surprise took me, uh, I actually won on my first attempt, considering I'm bad at Matterhorn, but hey, there we go. I did it. It was in 3 GTR. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Anyways. So now we wait on everyone else to cross the line, because I like to see exactly where everyone finishes, so yeah. Oh, there's a large area near you that's called DeSoto. Oh, DeSoto Car Company. Yeah, there's that too. Yeah. Alright. Half a minute first to last. Cool. So, hooray, we actually have, uh, you know, more than six cars on track. We got our stars. I, that, that's cool, I guess. Aw, oh, man. 6.67 miles. It was, that race was almost Satan length. Almost. Alright, to Rome for race two. So, let's do it to it. GT3's rubber banding wasn't that bad. At all. So it's nothing like, you know, this game, that's for damn sure. Ooh, a Tesla Roadster. Ooh. There's an Evo 8 starting second. I hope you die. Thank you, Jay Graz. So rude. Oh my goodness. Alright, starting fourth gear. Off we go. And Delgado in third. Reminds me of Haas Delgado from fucking... Billy and Mandy. God, that show was awesome. Oh, excuse me, NSX. Just sliding my car into the tire. Oh, uh, maybe you were driving like shit, Junior. I don't know. <laughs> Am I watching? Oh, roadblocks tonight? Fuck. 
guess I'm not watching that because fucking daylight savings time and I have to work super early in the morning, so <laughs> nope, not doing that. Yeah, there's no way GT3 rubber banding is that fuck. Because, like, remember my LP when the fucking, oh god, in one of the rallies where our, uh, the driver, my opponent got stuck on the wall for a lap, and he, no, Harry, I'd rather you not post-match results, but, um, even he, after, like, getting back going, he was only five seconds a lap faster than me. It's the new room, I know, right? It's like, bleh. Yeah, remember the LP were like, oh god. I don't know. Oh, Jesus. I'm really bad at this first fucking sequence here. Hey, Alex. Hey, I don't not believe you all the time. It's just that this one seems a little far-fetched. It seems more like driver error than anything. If they close 25 seconds a lap. Oh yeah. GT2 and 3 room is much better than this one. IMO. But, you know, what can you do? Also, anyone remember Rome Night? Hey, B. Rice, Buddy Rice. Indie card reference. That is a challenger. Challenger? Yeah, it's a challenger. Sometimes I, like, get confused over which one's the challenger and which one's the charger, but nah. Rome Knight was cool. Yeah, GT3 had rubber banding. Most of the car. It's getting beat by rally car. <laughs> Cut the roof off your challenger. Charger. Challenger. Ugh. Rome Knight, the course that was so cool that they didn't even bother using it unless it was randomly generated. Or randomly picked, I should say. Is this game shorter than GT3? Very much so. This game is definitely shorter than GT3. Which makes me sad. Rome Knight wasn't even used in, like, any actual races in GT2. It was... The only time you could get Road Knight is, like I said, with, uh, random selection. So in the one-make races and the, uh, event synthesizer. Other than that, it went unused, except in that one, uh, license test. Alright, there we go. I win race two, by the way. <laughs> so, yeah. Is GT1 longer than this? Probably not. At least this game's longer than GT1, I'm pretty sure. I've put on I put 91 on every car I've uh, remembered to. So yeah. I don't know. The rubber banding debates like me. Eh. I'm not sure what I meant by that. Shut up, me. I'm, I'm speaking gibberish now. I'm already speaking gibberish. This is the fucking first video I'm recording today, and I'm already speaking gibberish. God damn it. Fuckity fuck fuck fuck. Challenger, you mean Charger Family Car? Yes, also Hey Executioner. Oh yes, we're going to Mount Panorama for the last race. This I can get fucking excited for. This I can get very excited for. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I really like this song, don't mind, don't mind me. 
Time for Bathurst. Another in Oh hey, <laughs> Soto's back. Leading the field again. It looks like there's actually like drivers uh like set to each specific car in a series, which is interesting. <laughs> Templar race, yeah. Stry it, mate. Alright, here we go. 6.30 in the morning. Well, it's like the start time of the fucking Bathurst 12 hour, except like an hour and a half earlier, maybe. Yeah, I've, yeah, I remember, I remember getting salty at you, Junior, for fucking ramming me like that, you piece of shit. And we're already up to ninth. Is that a Grand Sport up there? That is a Grand Sport. Don't you love how I always uh, look at the car list before we start the race? Except not at all. 12 hours starts at 6 in the morning. Really? Cause, well, and then I guess the lighting is a little off with the time of day. Or maybe it's more like summertime here. Actually, no. So it was su sh summertime in Australia. Never mind. I don't think they in a half hour to go from complete darkness to this. So, plurkin. Anyways. <clears throat> oh shit, okay. Lock the brakes a little bit. Alright, time for the fun part. Down the mountain we go. It's not fun when you're trying to overtake cars though. Then it just becomes a holocaust. Oh hey, I just saw a billboard for speed. Remember when that channel was a thing? Remember when it didn't suck ass before it died? Like long before it actually died? God damn it. Should have stayed in third gear for the elbow. <laughs> Another Corvette. That's a C4, isn't it, as well? So two C4 vets. Hill. Oh. Pfft. Okay, this is a five speed, never mind. I was gonna throw it in sixth gear. There is no sixth gear. Oh, I'm not gonna make it into the chase. Okay, I made it because I rammed into the back of Dixon. Yes, GT6 has V spec. Alright, into the final turn. Nice overtake on Dixon. Hey, Yakko. <coughs> and one lap down. Alright, Sorrentino's Evo 8 here. Supercharged batteries. I was expecting Super Cheap Auto. That might be a parody of Super Cheap, I'm not sure. Oh shit. Into the wall. Laid on the brakes, goddammit. Oh yeah, that leak thing. I just kind of uh, haven't done anything about it yet. I still want to do it. I just need to get my shit together. And figure out what the hell's happening at work. Excuse me, Mr. Jaguar. <clears throat> that thing got sued for an ad in Monza? What? In GD5 or 6? I'm surprised Sega didn't sue for having their logo in uh, at Fuji. GT5. Oh, jeez. Okay. Let's stay in second or er, third gear through the elbow. I said last lap. Guess what I didn't do? 
Let's go. You cannot be fucking super Nerocrat. That's great. Oh. Well, it's like I'm out accelerating Soto here. I just have a clean run into the Caltex chase. Downshift into the fourth way too soon. Alright, we're good. Is it Namco and Suzuki and GT? Uh, I remember Konami being in uh, in a Suzuki and GT4. Hashtag fuck Konami. Australian speed channel is called something else. I don't know. In America, it doesn't exist anymore. It was replaced with Fox Sports One because who cares about cars? That isn't NASCAR. Dude, I would love to come to Australia just for the fucking this place right here. I would love to see the Bathurst 1000 and or the uh, Bathurst 12 hour in person. Both of those. Motors team TV has come to North America. Please God, make that let that be true. I would be very happy if that happened. Hey Miller. Fujitsu, Fujitsu, Fujitsu. By the way, Fujitsu. Oh shit. The <laughs> bridge will be in Sega. That was right right before turn six. Oh, there is a super cheap auto sign, okay. So I guess it's two different companies. Or something. Audi R8. Also I just realized there's no uh, time lapsing in this race, because it's still 630. Hooray. Also, the shadows are very buggy on this track. Very buggy. So, that's cool. Hey, Skyfall. So I've been enjoying myself doing these three laps here. Because I just love driving around this place. As hard as it is. I should watch Formula E. Actually, like last night, I actually tried uh, to get started with uh, actually following motorsports. Damn it, I fucked up. Laid on the brakes, downshifted too soon again. Failing to recover. Well, that was awful. Still gonna win. But that was awful. I don't think I could have done the chase much worse. Alright, there we go. Clean sweep. We're good. But yeah, I tried actually uh, tried to get started with following motorsports this year by watching the uh, opening round of the World Superbike Series last night, and it was pretty fucking cool. Both races. I was really rooting for Nicky Hayden to get a podium in race two, but he barely got edged out by Giuliani, aka Valentino Maldonado, as Torrent called him. Yes, I used the calendar from the Jalopnik article, because it's really fucking useful. So, heck yeah, man. Anyways, that's the uh, 500 performance point Clubman Cup finished with no fails. Slightly surprising. Evo Senpai won. Yee. All right, there we go. There's our gold trophies, our nine stars. We unlocked the mission races, and do we get anything else? Nope. Okay. So, there we go. First A-Class series down. Next time we're doing night racing, so stay tuned for that and more GT6.